with the wine sleuth here. We're at the Bluebird in Chelsea reviewing the Balfour sparkling rosé wine. Cheers. They're only wine production from a very tiny vineyard state indeed, only three hectares over at Balfour. What? <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's for us. From Balfour who are our best producer of uh, sparkling uh, wines here in England. And this retails for about, well, here at the Bluebird retail. Oh, we have the, uh, this is a 2006 vintage? Five. 2004? Okay, yeah. 2005 vintage. They've only had two vintages so far. Okay. And this is uh, the rosé, so I'll let my friend, the wine tell you all about this uh, Oh, well, thank you, Sarah. Uh, well, this is a uh, primarily Pinot Noir. Uh, but I think it's a blend, wasn't it? Yeah, Chardonnay. Uh, it's a Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier, and Pinot Noir, but it is um, rosé because they've left it on the skins for a bit. It's lovely, really nice little bubbles. I don't know if you can see those bubbles there. Tiny, tiny bubbles. The nose is... How's the nose? How's your nose? Raspberries. Full on, yeah, she's right. It's full on raspberries. I mean, it's just I mean, it's so fruity. Just the nose is just really... Loads and loads of raspberries in there. Very fruity. Um, which is something that... It's, it's kind of hard, I think, to get with, with the rosé sparkles, no? Yeah, I mean, I suppose we were in a little bit of unknown territory. I mean, a lot of tried some sparkling English wines, but to, yeah, to, to yeah. say a typical sparkling, uh, sparkling yeah. rosé, I, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. From England. Yeah, from England, anyway. But I have to say that it's, it's just really nice nose. And, and how does it taste? Wait, let me try it. It's nice citrus flavors, really crisp acidity. Very crisp. Little bubbles, even though this has been sitting for a little bit, those bubbles just come right at you. Um, but the, it's not real. Uh, it's not really aggressive, I think. The bubbles, you know, the bubbles do are there, but they're not gonna knock you out. I mean, I was saying earlier off, off camera that this this rosé is just a, it's such a slight rosé to me. I mean, if I was blind, I wouldn't even be able to necessarily. Really? Tell, yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, it's just such a, a you know, it's screaming like a kind of champagne. The colour, I don't, I mean, whoops, I know that you think it's really so many, but to me, I don't feel that way. I mean, I can see this tinge. No, but it, I mean, I think, well, I think for me, it's definitely got, it looks like a rosé. I mean, it's a very, very pale rosé. Very, but, you know, again, we're talking about sparkling wines. So when you have that sort of, you know, they often are very, very pale. And if you think about, I've seen a few. Southern France. Think about Tetsinger. Tetsinger rosé is very, very pale. I've had a few, few rosés from the Champagne rosés there. This to me would be one of the palest as far as pink. Well, just consider, consider that we are the furthest northern yeah, yeah, part yeah, of, of course, Champagne. Of course, of course. But I, I do get red, I definitely get red fruits on this. I definitely get like a very strawberry what, on, on, the, the on, the palate, the palate. on the palate. Yeah, you don't. Maybe, maybe some raspberry, but I'm not getting You're getting apples. See, I'm not getting apples. I'm getting much more of a raspberry <gasps> red fruit profile. So maybe, you know what, maybe, maybe red apples. Yes, red apples and raspberries. Red apples and raspberries, yeah, that's it. So, but in general, I think it's a very well made. Well, it won the South East, the best wine of the whole of the South East yeah, region. That's yeah. so that's, scary. That's saying Lots something. Lots of competition. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there is. There is, there is. She's right, there is a lot of competition. But I have to say that uh, Beaufort Brut Rosé, uh, when I took this to California, people loved it. I mean, it was really, really very well received. And it is very nice. And, I mean, it's definitely, I think it's, but it's more of an aperitif. Yeah. As opposed to having you with the meal, I'm not, it would have to be a light meal. You wouldn't have anything really, really heavy with this. Uh, yeah. But, but it is really good. Uh, so, why is it? Point up, point up. 92. She's pointing it out as 92. I'm saying it's good. Very good. And I saw that. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, this is the wine sleuth. Um, wine night. <laughs> Bringing you the very best of English wine. That's right. <laughs> Cheers. There you go. This is wine night. <laughs> Welcome to the Bluebird. <laughs> That's a fun and game. <laughs>